In this worksheet called double spaced print, suppose we really do want to print this data double spaced. Now, think of how much time it might take you to insert a new row above every one of these. I'm first going to press Control F2, so we get a print preview to show how this appears if it were to be printed now. Single spaced printing, and certainly nothing wrong with that, but you might want double spaced printing. Let's press Escape here. Now, to see double spaced here, one technique would be the long technique, putting in the extra rows, but what if we simply were to click in the upper left corner, select the entire worksheet, and then take any row boundary and drag it to be about twice as tall. Now, it doesn't have to be exact. In fact, you might want to make it three times as tall. Just drag it, and this adjusts all row heights to be twice as tall. Now, our print preview, this time, shows about half as many rows as we saw before. Now, it isn't really double-spaced, and you do see the grid lines in there, so a couple of options here. You could go to Page Setup and say, I don't want the grid lines. I don't think that's necessary or unnecessary. It's just a question of choice. You could certainly do that. Another technique is we press Escape here. You could select all the data here and simply align it in the middle of the cells. And then possibly now we press Control F2. That might be more to your liking. But without any lines there, it doesn't accentuate or show the data in any different way. Going back to Page Setup, we could go to the Sheet tab here and show grid lines, if you prefer. And we get the preview that way. At some point, you're going to be satisfied with one of those choices and pressing escape. How do we get back to normal? Just click the upper left-hand corner and double-click any row boundary, and we're back to our normal display. So a quick way to do double-space printing, simply by making the rows twice as tall.